Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, and today I'm going to bring you some demos for Cycle 2, Week 4, Hands-On Science Experiment. These are coming from our Van Cleves Guide, uh, page 7, number 11, and number 12, On the Move and Speedy. So first I'll show you number 11, and On the Move, and what you'll need for this one is a cake pan and some construction paper, and so you're going to um, trace the bottom of your cake pan and cut out a circle of construction paper and then I also did it with a paper towel I cut out um, a paper towel and try it with that as well and you will need a marble where's my marble go? there's my marble and so this experiment we're talking about why planets continue to orbit around the Sun so you know, you ask them questions, okay, how many planets does our solar system have? And what does it mean for a planet to orbit? We've talked a little bit about orbiting in some of our previous experiments. So orbiting is just um, the path that the planet takes around the sun. So we're learning about why do the planets keep moving in their orbits around the sun? So for this experiment, our marble is gonna be like the planet. Um, you can ask them what planets orbit our sun, how long does it take to orbit, some questions you might ask, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the next experiment too. So to show them, and this can start as a tutor demonstration and then you can have the students um, give it a try as well. So you're going to take your cake pan and put your construction paper in the bottom and I will adjust it so you can see. Okay, then you're going to take your marble and you're just going to flick it around and just observe how long did that take or how many times did it go around and then did it eventually come to a stop. Okay, so eventually it did and then go ahead and take out your construction paper and do it again and observe if it spins the same or if it spins more, so we can kind of see that um, without the paper, my marble spins more times around and stops. Um, it stops faster when there's the paper. You can also try it with a uh, paper towel and see. So it stops pretty fast there. So some questions you can ask are, okay, what is happening here? What is going on with our, our marble, our planet? It's, it's orbiting um, in its path and what makes it stop? And so you introduce um, the word friction and ask them what is friction? And that's just that, that resistance that, that it, it pushes against something to make it come to a stop. So um, we'll talk about this in a later week in CC, but you can introduce uh, Newton's first law of motion, which is an object at rest tends to remain at rest and an object in motion tends to continue moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless an outside force acts upon it. And I have Nicole Leanne's notes here and she uh, gives what Newton's first law is in her notes here. So um, an object that's moving wants to continue moving and an object that is stopped wants to stay stopped unless there's a force that acts upon it. So ask them, is there anything, when we have the paper in the pan or the paper towels in the pan, is there anything that might act upon the marble to make it stop? And, um, and that's friction. So especially you can see with the paper towel, oh, it's very bumpy and it's got a texture to it. It's not very smooth. And that's what causes the marble to slow down and stop a lot faster. So even, even without the paper, um, eventually the marble will slow down and stop. But it went around um, a lot more times. There was a lot less friction um, in the smooth metal pan. And so in space, there, there isn't friction. There's nothing in space that's going to slow these planets down. There's not an atmosphere. There's not um, anything that the planets would rub against to make them slow down. So 
the planets continue to orbit around the sun and they will continue to orbit around the sun. So it's pretty cool. So friction is um, a force that causes something to slow down and stop. And um, Newton's first law of motion kind of start introducing that as well. So we learn that as some part of our memory work on the, on the later week. So that is number 11 on the move. And you can have the students take turns um, pushing the marble around and just observing, okay, how many times around does it go when there's paper in the pan and when there's not? And so that kind of leads us into week or uh, experiment number 12, which is speedy. And we're going to talk about how fast each planet orbits the sun. And so, you know, ask them, okay, we have um, all these planets in our solar system. Are they all moving at the same speed? And if not, which ones go faster and which ones go slower? And does it matter how far away they are from the sun? So we're going to do an experiment about that. And you don't need very many um, supplies for this one. You'll just need a string. It says about a yard long. Um, depends on what your space is. And you'll need a metal washer um, to attach to the end of it. So I didn't have a metal washer handy, so I just used a nickel and I taped it on there really good. And so it wouldn't fly off and it seemed to work pretty well. So you're gonna have, so this one will probably be a tutor demonstration and just make sure you have um, enough space because we're going to be swinging this around. Um, so just make sure you have space and um, it'll be fun. So we're going to determine the effect of distance on the orbiting planets. And so some questions you could ask in the Coleum has some good questions to ask. How far away is each planet from the sun? You know, we kind of know from seeing pictures of what our solar system looked like looks like that there's some planets that are really close to the sun and some that are farther away. And so does that affect how fast each planet orbits? So astronomers can observe, we can look through telescopes at the planets and see, you know, the distance they travel and kind of figure out, calculate how long it takes them to go around the sun. And it is different. And why is it different? So um, you'd ask them, how long does it take the Earth to travel around the sun? If they know how many days are in a year. And um, we talked already about how, you know, planets continue to orbit because there's not that friction, so they're going to keep moving. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to turn you this way. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see. So first you can start out having your string pretty long or holding it um, towards the end. And you're going to, see when we hit the ceiling, you're going to swing it around just fast enough to keep the string taut, the string tight. Okay, and you're going to observe that. See how fast it's going. Okay, and then you're going to hold your string about halfway in the middle and you're going to spin it this time. And spin it fast enough to keep it taut. You'll notice, that I'll observe, that I'm having to spin it a little bit faster. Okay, now you can hold it pretty close to your washer and spin it that way. So I'm having to spin it pretty fast just to keep it going. Okay, so that is the demonstration, and we're going to talk about why the speeds are different. And so, we learned from Newton's uh, first law of motion that if something is moving, it's going to want to stay moving unless it's acted on uh, by outside force. There's no friction, there's no atmosphere to slow things down, and so why did the orbit go faster when the string was shortened so the sun has a force called gravity and so that's what pulls things towards it and in order for the planets to stay in orbit they have to move at a certain speed and so when something when a planet is closer to the sun that 
that pull of gravity is a lot stronger. So Napoleon kind of has a diagram of this. So when things are closer together, that force of gravity, that pull is a lot stronger. And when they're farther away, that pull is less. So things that are close, planets that are closer to the sun have to move a lot faster in order to not get pulled into the sun in order to stay in orbit and they move they have to move they don't have to move as fast when they're farther away from the sun because that pull of gravity is less when things are farther away so they move slower and um on here nicole also has how many earth days each planet's orbit is so that's really interesting so mercury's orbit to go all the way around the sun is only 80 almost 88 days and so on earth year is 365 days so mercury goes around the sun a lot faster than the earth does whereas um saturn for example it takes 10,755 days for it to orbit the sun so it's a lot farther away it's moving slower it also has a bigger orbit too so um, it has to travel a farther distance, but it is um, also moving slower. So just some things to think about. It's, it's fun to talk about the planets and just get their the students' curiosity going about, okay, the planets are up there, but how fast are they moving and why and why do they stay in orbit? So it's just, you know, just keep asking questions and, you know, they might have some questions and it's fun to see. Um, their answers. So we're talking about gravity and inertia and so this is a really fun um, week of experiments. So that is oh, cycle two week four and I'll talk to you guys soon.